Here are some form tips so that you can execute lunges with confidence. With a lunge, you're always gonna have one leg that's moving, and so I want you to focus on your starting position, being tall and grounded and confident. Shoulders are stacked over the hips, hips are stacked right over the feet. You know kind of where your body is in space, right? And then we're gonna start to move. So I'll start showing a lateral lunge, going side to side, so I can face you. This looks a lot like our friend, I'm gonna stay here for a second, this is a lateral squat where both feet stay planted, but now we're pushing off the floor, landing with control, and pushing off the floor. So just like a squat, we want to sit our hips way back, load this leg, and then push the floor away, returning to that confident, tall standing position. There's so many variations of lunges. One other one that you're going to see is a reverse lunge. So you might have weights here in your hands for this. You'll step back and then push into that front leg and step together. So on the first example, it was our moving leg that was working more. On this example, this front leg is really getting loaded up and I'm using that leg primarily to push into the floor. So one of the things with lunges you'll just wanna pay attention to is which leg is really working and which leg is functioning to put on the brakes. So there's always like this landing aspect where you're putting your foot down and helping yourself slow down and not just smash the floor. So I just started showing a drop lunge, which is a little bit like a curtsy. This will also get labeled as a curtsy squat sometimes, but we are moving one leg into a different position. So we're gonna keep this in the lunge category. So in this case, my non-moving side is working and I'm kinda light on that back toe. Some standard rules for all these variations of lunges. Make sure your knees and toes always stay in line. So if you land your foot in a lunge and your knee is like off to the side or is wobbling way out here, we need to check our form on that. Maybe make the movement a little bit lighter or a little bit smaller and watch your knees, okay? So that's a really big one. Forward lunging or walking lunging tends to be a little bit more challenging on the knees, so you really wanna watch that you're not shooting way out over your toes. That can be really problematic, especially if you have a history of knee stuff. So just keep in mind that stepping leg, you wanna step with confidence, and then use that as your braking system, aiming to keep the shin over the ankle, okay? So we wanna avoid stepping and then shooting the knee way out, okay? So with any of these, I recommend starting with body weight. I've just been showing this all with body weight. Develop your confidence with your form and then add weights.